welcome or welcome back to the channel with your Sarah BNA. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe, girl. Join the fam because you don't want to miss out on any of these videos. So make sure that you turn on your post notifications and follow me on my social media, okay? My Instagram does not match the following on my TikTok, my YouTube. It just don't match. So let's fix that, okay? So a lot of people have been tuning into my little YouTube shorts of my nail tutorials. I have fallen completely in love with doing my nails at home so i thought let me give y'all a more full in-depth tutorial because the girlies were asking and if y'all ask i deliver so first step is to prep my nails as you can see i am clipping my nails down and then i'm gonna go ahead and buff them out file them get them all nicely shaped for our set today um y'all this file is rank and dank it's broken down it's real grimy. <laughs> I need a new one. But you get the gist, okay? Make sure that you prep your nails because taking care of your natural nails is super duper important. Also, if you follow these steps, like my little tutorial, your natural nails will grow. So if you've been, you know, dealing with short, stubby nails for a long time and you want to protect your nails and keep them away, you know, from breaking on their own, then definitely follow these steps. So now that I have my nails prepped and ready to go, I am going to push my cuticles back. This is so important. Like, please don't skip this step. You can skip anything else, but do not skip this because y'all are going to see in a minute. Like, the end result is going to be so natural. It's literally going to look like these are your nails. And it's really because I pushed my cuticles back and I cut my cuticles really well. Unfortunately, I lost the clip of me cutting my cuticles, but I am going to show you guys the tool that I use. Be extra super duper careful when you do this step because a lot of times people tend to cut themselves. Shoot, the nail techs at the nail salon be cutting me on this step. So yeah, make sure that you take your time. So now that your nails are fully prepped, it's time to go ahead and apply our gel x tips okay everything that i use in today's video will be linked in my description box below and one thing about my storefront that i pride myself in is finding the best affordable prices and everything is going to be shipped with prime shipping so you're going to get things super fast for a great price so let's get into applying my gel x tips and let's get into the controversy that my little youtube shorts have been bringing up across youtube everybody has been getting on me like oh you don't apply it with the gel glue that's not a gel x set all right whatever girl whatever you want to call it this is just my preference so let me tell you why i like to apply my tips with nail glue it lasts longer for me it's super easy to apply you see how i'm just adding the nail right to my nail bed and i'm holding down for a little bit I have to pry or soak my nails off when I do it this way. If I use the Gel X glue, if you don't cure it correctly, it bubbles underneath. It's spillage on the sides. You see how nice and clean this is with one step application? Like, I don't have time for the Gel X glue. If you like it, then that's your prerogative. But this is just my preference. Also, if your nails ever pop off, you can just pop it right back on with some nail glue. You're basically creating your own press-ons with doing it this way. You can't do that with Gel X glue because the gel, the gel glue is so thick under your nails. You're literally going to have to like peel that off, reapply the glue. It's, it, it's too much and I don't like it. So this is my preference, okay? You do it your way. I'm showing you my way. It's super easy to apply this. I hold it on for like a good 10 seconds because I don't want it to go anywhere. Y'all was making fun of me about curing it the last time. I just be trying shit, okay? But anyways, all my nails have been applied. And now it's time to cut them down. So this cutter came from the Savin Lawn Nail Kit. It's currently 20% off on Amazon. It's regularly priced at $20. Right now it's $15.99. Either way, it's a great price for a great kit that comes with so many things. You get a small mini um, nail curing lamp. You get the nail tips, of course, the gel X, glue, the clipper. Um, what else do you get? Two files. You get a lot of stuff for $20. Speaking of files, I went ahead and shaped up my nails. I buffed them out. They look so good. You cannot tell me that these aren't my natural nails. 
So real quick, I'm going to show y'all how I do them. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to use a fowler or a buffer. This is what the people be doing at the nail salon, so I just try to follow. But anyways, I buff the top, and I love to get a really sharp edge, and then I crisp up my sides. For me personally, I like tapered square or square. I've also dibbled and dabbled into almond. So if you want to see how I shape my almond nails next, please comment down below. And I'll be sure to film that type of tutorial for you guys as well. But shaping is so important to how the finish of your nails look. If you don't shape correctly, your nails going to come out janky. All right. And this is what I mean when I say take your time with shaping. Because don't this just look so good? It's so satisfying. Like, I can't believe it. So after all the buffing and the shaping, I go ahead and I wash my hands. No soap, just water. Because that's what the people at the nail salon be telling me to do. And I go ahead and dry my nails. And I just, can we just get into it? Where does the nail begin and end? This is my nail. Like, if you ain't like this video yet, baby, what are you doing? Because I'm putting you on. I'm putting you on, okay? So now it's time to paint. Um, these are the V-Shine Gel X nail polishes. Also, links in my description box. I'm going for a really natural pink this is like what is it called bubble bath pink this is what it's giving me okay um i'm gonna go ahead and paint my nails y'all know how to paint make sure you stay in the lines that's crucial to making your nails look natural making your nails look like you just came from the shop if you go outside of your line just go ahead and clean it up and i think i did three coats of this color and I cure each time for like 30 seconds. This is super self-explanatory, so I'm just gonna let y'all vibe out to some music. I've been through some shit, man, but I be on my shit, man. I decided that what you give is what you give in. So I've been trying to do it right. I've been doing like whatever gets me through the night. What a life. I'm steady, always on the go. there with the three coats of pink because it looks so classy and nice but of course i'm gonna add my french tips because i am obsessed this white gel polish is attached to the chrome set that's linked in my description box we love a kit that comes with multiple things so the first step is to paint the tip of your nail um i do that with the regular brush that the polish comes with because it's just easy to apply it that way and then i take this brush this brush comes in a set of three linked in the description of course and i start with painting one line down the side of my nail just like that okay once I'm done with painting that line I go and I get more polish and I connect that line to the regular tip and this line is going to be curved of course I'm hand painting if you don't like to hand paint or you don't you know you don't feel comfortable you can get that little that little gel cushion thing and I'm, I'm sure it's on Amazon somewhere you basically put your gel polish on the cushion and then you press your nail into it I know y'all know what I'm talking about um they also have stencils on Amazon that you can pick up but I just like to hand paint because it makes me feel very artistic you know but once I do that I complete the same thing on the other side of my nail um just take your time okay this video right here is not sped up this is regular speed. A lot of people ask me, how do you do it? I take my time and I practice. The more you do it, the better you get at it. And I also want to give you guys a tip. Change the position of your nail. You see how now my nail is lifted up in the air? I messed up right here. It's okay. We're going to clean it up later. But you got to figure out what positions with your hand feels the best for you. And, you know, if you've messed up, 
you can just flip the brush the other side of this brush has a flat brush edge you can dip that into alcohol and just wipe away your mistakes okay literally wipe them away it's not gonna be the end of the world if you mess up make sure that you cure your nail after each time you complete a nail that's super duper important because you don't want to you know hit your nail on accident and mess it up some shit man but i be on my shit man i decided that what you give is what you're giving so i've been trying to do it right i've been doing like whatever gets me through tonight what a life i'm steady always on the go you steady always on the go we steady losing all control top coat i want to give you guys a tip when it comes to painting your frenchies it may look like the paint is bumpy but once you cure it everything is going to dry and it's going to dry flat so don't be scared just cure it in between to make sure that everything is fully dry i'm gonna mess up in a second because my nail polish wasn't completely dry but it's okay all i did was get a paper towel and i wiped it away and i continue applying my top coat after I apply my top coat, I cure my nails like 50 11 times just to make sure that they are completely dry because I don't want any other mistakes. And then I'm also going to end with filing my nails because now I am able to get rid of any mistakes that I made during the process. So if I paint outside the lines, if I apply too much, if I apply too much top coat and I got a bubble on the side of my nail, I can just file it away and it's going to make, it's going to put like the final finishing touches on your nails and your nails will look like you just left from the shop so once all that is done um i wipe away all the excess powder with a little bit of alcohol and a paper towel super easy to clean and then i apply my cuticle oil this is actually face oil <laughs> from truly but i didn't like how it was so scentsy i didn't want to put it on my face so i use it as cuticle oil and this is the final product of my nails. I love them and I'm obsessed. A couple of frequently asked questions. How long does my nail set last? I usually leave my nails on for two weeks. Sometimes I take them off early because y'all know I do my own hair. And I got to have my nubs when I do my hair because it's easy to grip. Um, The way I take them off is I soak them or I just let them pop off over time. But they are super durable. They're super hard and sturdy. I have a typing job and I type a lot and my nails never pop off on me or anything like that. And if they do, if they do so happen to pop off, I just reapply with nail glue. Um, what else y'all be asking me? I think I covered everything else in the video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll be sure to give you an answer. Please make sure that y'all use my Amazon storefront. I do receive commissions. So help your girl out. And yeah, let me know what other videos y'all want to see from me in the comments. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, mama. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah.